But guess what? He was rich. <laughs> First of all, I want to thank y'all for inviting me out. Mr. Burris, uh, Markel, who I go way back to high school with, at Central High School. Um, I'm not going to go over my whole career because I'll be here for an hour. <laughs> all right? Uh, but I want to talk about some things, and, you know, especially to our youth. All right? Uh, but before I get started, Pastor, let me show respect to my mother, who's right here. <laughs> she's a breast cancer uh, survivor. She'd be breast cancer <laughs> I started coaching my own football team 
with all the Arkansas Lions. Yeah. And I started coaching them kids. And I was getting happier. I was more happy with life. You see, I found something in life that made me happy. Besides playing football, because football is all I do. And my coach can tell you right here that I put everything I have into these children. Everything I have to these children. I have a lot going on in youth football. And when football season ends, um, I try to keep myself involved with kids. Just the other day, I went back and had lunch with a kid who's not on my team. His mom reached out to me and she said, uh, can you go have lunch with, with my son? And this kid doesn't play for me, thank you. But I feel like it's my duty because I've been to the top of the athletic world. There's no higher place than the uh, National Football League. Right. And I've been there. And I feel like when I was younger, there were so many guys that made that didn't come back and see us. Right. All right. They come back and help us. All right. And I had some praying folks, y'all, and my father, my uncles, they pushed me to the limit. And when I came back here, I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. And when I got involved in my community, I said, you know what, this is it. I don't get paid off of this, but I get these kids all I got. Because I remember when Dick Gregory said at the Emmett Smith Roast and Toast, he said, when you die, Keith, he said, when you die, God, don't really care about what kind of uh, house you had, right. or how right. fancy a uh, car you drove, how much money you had. Right. He wanted to know why you was on this earth, what did you do for my children? All right. All right. That's right. And there's so much that we all can do. I see Connor Forte back there, Chase Forte back there. Those kids don't play for me, but those kids can come for me and I give them what I have. Right. Just because a kid is not directly involved with you, doesn't mean you can't help them. That's for everybody. Amen. That's for everybody. Yeah. And when I tell y'all that, I mean, we got football practice today. Look at Ty, he's already dressed. <laughs> like, talk about being ready. <laughs> he's already dressed. And uh, so my football lady, I uh, was called the Arkansas AAU football lady. We grow in every year. And I kind of branched that off into doing more and more and more to where now it's pretty much a year-round thing for me. And what these kids don't realize, these parents don't realize, that these kids are therapy for me. Amen. 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 They don't realize this. Uh, the young man, the... The kids up here that were singing, awesome, man. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That takes care of for you were 10, 19 years old. You 12 years old. 20. My bad, baby. You <laughs> <laughs> 12 years old. It takes a lot of bravery. Uh, you 13. Oh. <laughs> 13 years old. My bad. But it takes a lot of bravery and guts to get up here and pray in front of adults. Yes. And a lot of adults won't even do that. When I was 13 years old, you couldn't have gotten in front of anybody to talk. All right. And let me tell y'all about confidence. Because y'all sit here and can none of y'all tell how I stutter, can you? No. No. None of y'all can tell that. Ty hears it all the time. My <laughs> wife hears it all the time. My mama heard it all of my life, all of her life. <laughs> but when you have confidence in what you do, you speak yeah. from the heart. You ain't got to worry about it. Right. You ain't got to worry about being embarrassed. <laughs> so a lot of us here, man, we lack confidence. Right. We're all great in something. Find out what you're great in. Just so happened football was my out. But every kid in here is probably going to make it to the NBA or to the NFL. Right. Some of y'all going to be something that's great in their life. All right. I tell this story all the time. Shaquille O'Neal, chef. When Shaquille played for the Suns, his chef cooked for him twice a week. Shaquille paid him $300,000 a year to cook twice a week. Mm -hmm. That same chef cooked for Steve Nash for three days a week and made half a million. Mm -hmm. So in five days, that chef, think about how money he made. Yes, sir. $800,000, you know? Think about that. Just cook it. Just cook it. Mm -hmm. My wife can cook my mom for me. Y'all can get paid. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And whatever you're going through, whatever you're going through, 
We're going through something right now, right? But whatever you're going through, just know it's going to be worked out. You just can't give up. Kids, all the kids in here, be great. Be great at something besides Instagram. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right.